It's a unique hustle. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing official, Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Nothing, nothing. I'm there. Walk on. I want y'all to stop what you're doing right now. Go like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. I mean, our Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, Facebook, you name it, YouTube, we're on it. Let's type in Boss Talk Podcast 101, any platform, and we will pop up. But if you want to see our visuals, go to our YouTube membership package and sign up for that. You get exclusive content that you can't find anywhere. Thank you. Man, hey, man, listen, man, we got a guy in here today, y'all. I had to bring him on the show. I've been seeing some things on the internet. Uh, he working. That's one of the main con contributions. Since you niggas want to get on Boss Talk, and so bad, you know, y'all be in my inbox. If you working, I'm going to call you, and this guy going to tell you the truth. It really happened like that. Half Pipe Films in the building. Yes, sir, again. Again. This is your uh, umpteenth time. Yeah, about the 10th interview uh, yeah, right here, but, you know. And, and that's the way I and like gonna it. And we're going to do 10 more. And we're going to keep doing them until you, <laughs> till you can't do no more. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, man, um, really, man, just, uh, man, congratulations on everything that you keep doing and the way you keep rolling and going from the short films to just all the stuff that you be doing, man. Like, how do you know when it's time to shift the gear? This is one thing I've been really struggling with here lately because I look back, not what I'm doing now, but back in the days. Mm -hmm. I was taking people to Vegas, right? Nine and ten people to Vegas, taking... This is in oh what started back in oh nine. Mm -hmm. We started taking people out of town, showing them the business, trying to get everybody to understand business, spending money six thousand, ten thousand, just spending money just because we were hustling and I wow. wanted to see people win and, and and educate them. Right? Yes, sir. She she was tired of it a lot of times. Yes, but, sir. <laughs> but anyway, the thing I thought about the other day, and and I say here often is, I should have knew how to phase things in and out. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't have expected things to go forever. That that little part in the end where I kept trying to go when God was saying no, it was like, dang man, like dang man, I'm I should have I should have stopped right there. If I'd have stopped right there, I'd have won. Mm -hmm. I didn't really win like I wanted to because I didn't stop right here. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. I opened a business over here. Damn, I let it go too long. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So let let me let me understand from your perspective. Like, do you challenge yourself to to start and stop in the right way? Um, I always come. I'm, I'm I'm always coming up with new ideas and shit. Just I'll really just be trying shit for real. But everything that I'm doing right now is I'm just getting my feet wet and everything that I want to do. Like when I get to the level that I want to be at, these are all the things that I'm gonna be dabbling in. So right now I'm just getting my feet wet, trying wow. stuff. So because I seen you, you know, when you first started off, everybody know you from doing videos. Uh -huh. You know, you was killing the video game, like, and it didn't start off like that. I know you worked your way into it, but when you got hot, nigga, you got hot. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And everybody like, man, if I ain't gonna be successful if I don't get a half pint film uh, a video, you yeah. know. So that showed true, you know, like, bam, like you killed that. Mm -hmm. But then, you know, you changed and switched up and say, you know what, I want to do short videos, short films. Mm -hmm. and, and even so much so you even started dibbling and dabbling more with the artist and the artistry too and being one of the you know moguls of that like yeah. like that's the part where I say man how do you start and stop and know when to start and stop or you just get bored of it um shit I ain't stop nothing I, I still do everything that you've ever seen me do I still do it but I'm, you're not putting out but you're not producing no, you're not as dealing much. with no artists like that no, no hold on right but no I'm, not dealing with I'm right. talking about it. I'm not seeing the skits popping out like you used to do the skits the short films like what you were doing before mm -hmm. I'm not seeing you post any of those. Uh -huh. So, That's and then also with the up next, I'm not seeing anything popping out with that mm -hmm. either. The only thing I'm seeing you concentrating on is behind the bar. Right. So I'm like, you know, how can you do all of it at one time and have everything coming out on their own individual channels all at the same time? You or can't. are you doing what, it? I, the only way I could do that is if I had a, a team, a separate team for each of these things. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing all this stuff by myself. or well, not by myself, but you know what I'm saying? It's just me and a couple people. So I can't do them all at the same time right now. But once I have the funding to be able to do all these things and have all these things going at once, then I will. But I'm still like I I'm, I'll be dropping more movies and short films and stuff like that uh, coming up. Um, I, I might sign a new artist soon. I might you know what I'm saying. I'm still doing all that stuff. It's just you know 
time but what deters you from okay when you start with a film and you're doing all of that it looked like it was going good but why are you switching to do something else if this was still doing good you know what i mean money funding it takes money to do movies mm. i feel like behind the bars is the most um inexpensive inexpensive thing um and it's like behind the bars is like a train if i if i could go back i would do behind the bars before i started any of this other stuff because it's like the train that's going to take me to get the funding to do to finish up next to do more films uh work with better artists on music videos and have the budgets and stuff like that so no 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 <laughs> hell no 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 the the videos it came hard probably harder than anything you ever did in your life mm -hmm. the videos the, the music videos mm -hmm. that's the foundation if i was building my half paint uh uh you know uh the, what they call them things that they jamie fox was supposed to be what? a clone clone <laughs> there it is. yeah my half paint clone what i'm gonna put I'm gonna make my half pint clone do videos hardcore. Yeah, and I'm gonna hold him there, and he gonna he gonna be cool with it because he can't say nothing back. Is he's he gonna make enough money from that to? Yes, to he's gonna make plenty of money. He do made you still money. Watch he music got, videos. Yes, I do sometimes, but I'm just saying. Tell the truth, e. stop. No, uh, hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> the music video is popping. If it's the right artist, yes, we watch. Okay, it. if it's the right artist, I okay, shoot. Okay, so here we go. I'm telling you. <laughs> You would still be on the right order. See, I'm, don't make me go there early. Go ahead, I'm trying come not on. to go there early. Go ahead, go on there. you. You supposed to sign the deal on Big Extra Plug, but you let that I get out. Have. You should let have. that slip through. You should have been doing his videos. You should have been orchestrating what was going on with him. You should have had paperwork on him. I you should have made all that happen when you know you put all your emphasis into him, uh, and, and, and then you let somebody do just like they did you on uh, uh, Erica Banks, just like they did you when Yellow walked away with 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 all the shine because. His videos went stupid. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because of you. Yeah. In my eyes, I don't care. You can't can't take my opinion away. Uh -huh. I'm just being real. So the videos. Mm -hmm. We know you for the videos. Absolutely. That's a half paint half film. Half films. Okay. Absolutely. So that's what I would do with my clone first and foremost. Mm -hmm. Now the other things would be branch offs. But at the end of the day, back behind the bar, yeah. I'll be making sure that Doug is getting them videos right for damn so. <laughs> like y'all probably already do, you mm -hmm. know, and y'all work together collectively. So, but I definitely know that you've had a hell of a run. I was just saying, how do you know when to start and stop? Or do you plan to stop? I didn't plan to stop. If I'd have planned to stop, if things were seasonal like they really are in real life, and we planned them out seasonally, I think we would be more successful. That's what I was saying. Uh, certain thing, because what if, what if, what if you stop too early? What if you stop before it pop? It's gonna be them pop. You never know. You it, never it, know. What is pop? You you know when you what pop. Is, you popped. You popped like I'm hell saying, on the video. I'm but, saying not me as a person. I'm talking about the things that I'm doing, like behind the bar. I still don't feel like behind the bars is popping. Like locally, yeah, but I'm trying to take that motherfucker around the world. It's gonna go hard. It ain't popped yet. I agree with that, but I'm not dissing behind the bar. So don't try no. to act like that's no, what no, I, mean. no, I, I love behind the bar, but I'm just telling you, there's a lot more to you, and you got to be more uh, what they call that when you do two or three things. Multitask. Yeah, you got to do that better because, and you got to delegate with people better. Mm -hmm. That's what I say. Now, hell, that's just me talking. But my you know question, what I'm saying? You I, talk I wish about, I could do this all at the same time. I wish I could. But you talk about, you're a bad guy. but you yeah. talk about budget and stuff like that. But so in all of these different categories, the film. The um, up next, behind the bar, whatever, are you the only one who is contributing to uh, monetarily to any of these platforms? Um, nah, we see we've been like for like stuff like up next and behind the bars. We've been pitching it to sponsors and um, investors and stuff like that. We just haven't hit yet. But mm -hmm. when it comes down to just putting money behind it is me, Doug and Cash that's mm -hmm. putting our money up to make this stuff happen. Okay, so, because sometimes they need seasons to come out first before any sponsorship comes out and Up Next haven't even right. put anything out. So right. why pause it until, you know, you accumulate enough where you can, they'll be like, okay, we, yeah. we That's that's what we figuring out now. You know what I'm saying? We we in Dallas. This is not a, um, 
a big production city like that where just big people just throwing dollars to TV shows and productions and stuff like that. So it's a little harder. But how far did you reach with all your production on Up Next? Uh, we got like two, three episodes in the can. We got all the auditions out the way. I auditions, we, yeah. So we so got, no finals yet. None no, of that other uh, stuff. So we still, yeah, we still working on that. We when is that going to happen? And if it's a, if it was a price that was paid by people, right? What about when is it going to happen? How do you tell them? Okay, this is what we're doing, and this is when it's going to happen. Wait, what do you mean? If it was a price like paper? like were people paying to enter the contest? Mm-hmm. Did y'all have a grand finale? And, and, and no, the won, finale won, hasn't. Won. No, we didn't do that. So yet. then they want to know about that. I know. Yeah. If I gave you some money. Then oh, no, I keep in contact with every artist that's on there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I keep in contact with. Them. First of all, let me just go back because we went too far fast. <laughs> I want to talk about the fact that up next being something I've heard from Mama Scott. Mm-hmm. I've heard from Brittany Loso. I've heard two different people say that they had this concept, that they had this idea. And you and Doug walked away with it. What do you mean? That y'all <laughs> stole the idea. Oh no, hell no. So tell hey, me, look, somebody else, minute. somebody else just came out with oh, an up next Dallas. Okay, <laughs> tell like me. last week. No, somebody, yes, okay. Up next tell somebody me. else just dropped the trailer for up next. Tell Dallas. me, like, Damn. how did y'all come up with this idea so we can clear them? We can get the get the you know how they say get the uh, rumors out the air. Everybody that I've talked to. From East Texas, and then some from Dallas. I'm telling you, shout out Brittany Loso said they had this concept and this idea, and you guys took and ran with their idea. So let's uh, uh, well, give me how you how you end up doing this show. Um, I just I wanted to do a show. I know I wanted to. Okay, so the up next idea came from me doing music reviews, and I'm like, I want to find you know what I'm saying. I'm trying to find the next artist, so I got on the phone. Uh, with Ronnie, I always consult with Ronnie before, you know what I'm saying? So I came up with the idea of how I want to do the show. I came up, it was like, okay, this sounds like American Idol or something like that. We never had the name for it at first. I didn't know what it was going to be called. And then he, Ronnie told me to call Doug because Doug got all the production shit. He was like, Correct. I just got I off the phone that. with Doug. Call Doug. Bet. Call Doug. Boom. Laid the idea down to Doug. He loved it. And then the the dilemma there was what's gonna be the name. I don't know. It took us like a week and a half. I really just let it sit on my mind and just came and up. You with never heard. And I wish I wouldn't have came up with up next now because now I feel like that's too. It's so too it's so perfect. Genetic, it's but yeah. that's why everybody keeps coming up with the same damn name. It's yeah you know because I'm, I'm telling you right now because sometimes it do people things do lock people. You got to realize, Mama Scott brought, I think it was a Moolah Mo when they came through. They say they had this idea mm-hmm. and they shopped it around to some of you Dallas niggas. And yeah, you Dallas they niggas to me. heard their idea and all of a sudden, y'all come up, <laughs> up next, this whole jumping, everybody yeah, doing this, nah. the, the, what the Frankie again. <laughs> <laughs> like, look, she, um, because I talk to Mama Scott all the time. I love Mama Scott. Um, she. I guess she got on the phone. You ain't and borrowing no money it from her, did you? No, nah, hell no. Nah. Okay, I'm just going. <laughs> go ahead. Hell no. Nah. Uh, I, I guess she pitched it to maybe Bebe or she wanted Bebe on her show or something like that. And what was it going to be called? I ha- I don't know. Okay. It's something with Next. Something with Next in it. I, I don't remember what it was supposed to be called, but it was fairly close. So she did tell you about it? No, no, no. She told me about it after, after we y'all had announced it. Yeah. Okay. After we announced Up Next. And then I seen that people started sending me the trailer from what they had did. But it was like, this was like months ago. They never did nothing with it or nothing. It was just a, like a, a promo, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Of just Moolah talking or something like that. Yeah, so yeah. So I never had seen that. I, I'd never seen that until we dropped ours and then people started sending me that. I'm like, oh, damn. And then Mama Scott called me and, you know, it went from there. But, um... What was the original question? Well, the one thing I was trying to understand is how you came up with the concept, but you you kind of you kind of answered my question. Like mm-hmm. you you say you was you you didn't know them, you didn't know their idea, and and boop, it just popped up when you was doing the reviews. That's what you said, mm-hmm. and you know I got you know I but I had to ask you because uh, Brittany Loso, who on my show a lot, she ain't been here lately. I I had to start calling her. That's my dog. Yeah, man. I know Brittany. But Loso she either. said she had they do something too. Around. I think they had a um something okay, next, bro. It's a lot. That's what I'm saying. It's a lot. It's so much up next shit. So they have next um, around the corner. They had an up next 
like showcase that they was doing in like Deep Ellum or something uh-huh. that was going on, and then they just did they somebody else out here have a up next festival that they do in Dallas and been doing it for three years. Oh, before never yeah. knew about this. Didn't yeah, they've been know. doing this. Yeah, I never knew about this. But it's not the same concept. It's not the same look. It's not the same. But it is up, up next. That shit is called up next. Bro, so. don't feel bad. Boss talk one on one. I didn't hear had so many people come at me about <laughs> boss talk. Uh, saying, and I say it's a bunch of boss talk. Right. I had to tell you offline. I had to hit one up because it was a few things that were said, but they were like boss talk. Y'all boss talk. It, we ball, I was boss talk, blah, blah, blah. I sent them Rick Ross. Rick Ross say he boss talk. He got a whole podcast. <laughs> right. He got a podcast. Then yeah. him and a girl had one called Boss Talk. Leave me the hell alone. Go at Rick. That's where yeah. the million's at. You messing with the little boy. Yeah. You got to go all the way with this thing. Am I right? Mm-hmm. Look, you don't want little, little thing stopping and big thing popping. He the big thing that's popping. Now, I be feeling like every time, anytime you come up with a good idea, somebody else around the world is thinking of it at the same time as you. It's about who executed first. I agree with that. Because it's a, it, once I drop behind the bars, I had two motherfuckers hit me and say, hey, I was just about to do a show called Behind the Bars. But they show was behind the bars, like jail bars. Like, oh. Yeah. Wow. So how do you feel like it's going? I mean, you got to understand, I was very proud of you when you got Yellow Beezy on there. You know me. I've been mm-hmm. asking about Yellow Beezy ever since I started Boss Talk. Ever mm-hmm. since you sit in that chair. It's been a yellow beast conversation <laughs> between me and you. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. He don't really. I seen him the other night. We was out in the same little old round surrounding. We, you know, a few words, you know, talking and whatever. But at the end of the day, um, how did you manage to get him uh, on the show? You told me you wouldn't. He still can't get in the movie. You already said that movie thing yeah. is out the door. You <laughs> was mad as hell about yeah, I the ain't movie thing. With him on the movie, but, but on the behind the boy, you was able to get yeah. your courage up enough to get him I in had there. To, man, I had to. I'm, you I gotta mean, go I, pick the nigga up. Nah, <laughs> <I'm> not, <laughs> look, I was just. I called him. I was like, "Man, come do it tonight." He was like, "All right, I'll come do it tonight." We got there. I really did. I still didn't think he was gonna come. And then he ended up calling me like, "I'm outside." Wow. Okay, cool. This is the same day that Tony did his. Yeah, yeah, so, I heard about that. Yeah, this is the same day. So, um, yeah, Yellow came up there and did his. And it's, it's, we still haven't even dropped it yet. It ain't even. Why? Out. He's, uh, it's part, it's basically going to be part of like his album. He's going to drop another album. So, it's part of his rollout. So, it's going to come out soon. They starting to roll the stuff out for Wow. How big rollout. was that being that you and him hadn't done anything in so long together? Like, how big was that for you? Let's be real. I mean, it was lit. It's lit. I hope everybody like it. You know what I'm saying? But it was lit to me. It's cool. I, but how was it working with him again on something? Uh, you know, because y'all hadn't worked it's regular, together. though. No, nah, y'all ain't worked together in no long time. And nah, they showed we, nobody nothing. We have. We. I mean, we ain't just worked together, but... Y'all talk other, all the time, We of talk course. all the time. We shot a vid- We done shot a video, another video, not too long ago. That ain't. That ain't. We didn't finish that, so that ain't come out. But like that. That wasn't my first time just working with him in years. I, we done worked. I like that, man. So you know, that was my main thing. Like I said, I was a yellow fan. I've been mm-hmm. a yellow fan the whole time. I, I even I, I look at his stuff. You know, he ain't been on Boss Talk. You know, yeah. he went up to uh, No Jumper and Bootleg Kev, and I know they then they make up these. Oh, the label told him he had to do it. All this, I don't want to hear that yeah. crap. That's why you know I hate when they try to nigga, throw the nah, label nah, in there. Nigga, y'all, if y'all want to come man. on Boss Talk, y'all niggas could come on Boss Talk. You y'all just come. y'all mm-hmm. slating the nigga probably because y'all don't know what I'm gonna ask y'all ass. Mm-hmm. Cause I'm crazy enough to ask questions that somebody else might not ask. Mm-hmm. Everybody know that. Everybody be like, man, you treat everybody the same. You talk to Ice-T the same way you talk to anybody else. You right. talk to, cause I'm just doing an interview, bro. But at the end of the day, I show love to the, you know, to everything. Texas, yeah. I start here and I go up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I respect it the utmost. So that's the way I feel about it. Yeah. But so I like seeing you guys, uh, I, cause it was a little bit of something shown where, you know, mm-hmm. you, you could see that something happened. So I, I was happy about that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nah, so it's good, it's kudos cool. to you, man, for getting it right. How, who else is really just, really just really stood out to you on behind the bar that you could, you, you think when you think of behind the bar, you're like, they killed that hoe. Oh man. Uh, Victor Pope. Victor, Victor Pope. Killed yeah. Vic killed it. Killed it. Murdered it. Also, uh, OG Bobby Billions. Oh, G. Bobby Billings came come to get out one. already? Yeah. Okay. It jammed too. He he got one of them ones. I go sit in the car and 
play it on Instagram and ride in the car to that motherfucker is so hard. Let me tell you something about OG Bobby <laughs> Billion, man. Let me tell you something about that boy. And I tell everybody, I called him when I heard what's the name of them song because they bit him. J. Cole and them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nigga, they bit him when they did that last song where they sang and shit. All my life. You come on, you know that. Come on. <laughs> I, man, that, my boy would have killed that, man. You don't think that my boy would have nah, killed that? That would have been a great Bobby Billion song. Man, so Bobby Billion started that. that whole style of doing that, yeah. man. That, I, I mean, you know, that was... Theirs was more like kids. Bobby's more like choir. Bobby would have brought that hope to where it needed yeah, to be. Nah, that would have yeah. stop playing nah, with I them agree. niggas on there. They, they, that would have went agree. crazy. I called him. Yeah. I'm like Bobby, these niggas hit you hard. <laughs> nigga, you don't see what I'm seeing. You know, I'm, I'm yeah. over here just really just loving music. So yeah. when I hear something, I'm like, oh hell no, nah. hold on now. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, that motherfucker. But don't you think that his music don't like that? Yeah, no, nah, yeah, that's it's about what that same think? sound. What did you hear? No, I didn't. That all my life. Mm-hmm. I know that song. song. I know the song. You don't think Bobby Billions type music fits that scenario? Yes, it does. Yeah, that's my boy too. Shout out Bobby Billion, man. Yes, my nigga. I got a question. So, well, not really a question. But I want you to tell our audience for those because who don't know what Behind the Bar is mm-hmm. because, you know, we assume that everybody already know it, but we have, uh, you know, viewers right. from everywhere around right. the world. What exactly is Behind the Bar and what's the purpose of it? Uh, Behind the Bars is a live performance platform. So it's not like it's not like the mic hanging like where you just with your whole song behind it. You have to actually come bring your instrumental and it's like like you're on stage. I love it. But the stage is Instagram and YouTube, the audience. And you know what I'm saying? So it's a live perform. This is this is where the real artist the real artistry gets shown. You know what I'm saying? It's not it's not your song from the studio on wax. You got to come. This is what you're going to sound like on stage to everybody. So you got to be mindful of that when you're when you come to behind the bars. Yeah. So if you don't have that presence um, and you just like to mix and master everything, then they're going to see. Don't even and you're gonna try. Be boring as hell. And this is Man. in front of the bar. Or yeah. they're actually behind the bar performing. They're in front of the bar. I'm in behind of, the bar. You're behind but, the bar, yeah. all dressed up, all snazzy you know what I'm and stuff. With my, with my, I get that. I get my uh, dressing style from Nipsey, from uh, Martin. Ah, oh, <laughs> that's why be going in. Nipsey, R.I.P. to Nipsey. Didn't he pass? Yeah, yeah, he passed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. R.I.P. to Nipsey, man. Uh, but uh, um, the thing you you gotta understand is, I think. I think by I, I think uh, by uh, Bumpy Johnson to kill it. Did man, he do I one? need to get Bumpy. Nah, I ain't got Bumpy. Nigga, yet. Bumpy Johnson to kill it. I know. I know. I'm telling you that man. right now. I'll I don't show you with. I done had him up in here. I know what yeah. that nigga gonna do. It's a problem. Yeah, nah, that nigga sure. sing, bro. I need to get Bumpy. I need to. You just, <laughs> you just remind me. I need to hear. I need to hear. Say so. Um, you know. Let's talk. Let's talk about your new podcast, game related. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You you over there with them now, right? Uh huh. And so y'all basically y'all you did something that really kind of rubbed me wrong. Me and me and my boy, it ain't came out yet. Ronnie, Ronnie was over here with me, and he he really pretty much he held me by the shoulder and said he is gonna be all right. <laughs> you know, uh, y'all when you you brought Trap Boy Freddie because he told me you did it. Now you brought Trap Boy Freddie to y'all podcast. You never brought Trap Boy Freddie to me. No <laughs> kind of way. You never tried. You know, Boss Talk been over here working harder than most. I only been doing this two years, writing some. Mm-hmm. Everybody up been doing it ten and comparing themselves to me. It's cool though. I ain't tripping. <laughs> I, I, I made niggas step the game up. I really think I did. I'm yeah. being real when it comes to talking behind this mic. Yeah. So I don't. I'm trying to understand why you didn't ever suggest. Shout out to little Ronnie Mother Elf, man. I know you had my back on this one. Uh, you told me to ask the nigga, I got the nigga in the seat. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, why you didn't ever suggest that? Hey, I have, but... Oh, the nigga didn't want to come to Boss Talk. Listen, let's get it right. Niggas be selective about what interviews they do. Rightfully so. But trapping like Dewberry and Charleston, they had their own relationship to the side that nobody ever knew about. Already, anyways, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, with Regina King, I was in, I was, I was in the circle for a second before the <laughs> niggas dissed me. So with, with, with Regina King, they was all going to do the school and stuff to get mm-hmm. to the juvenile together. I get mm-hmm. it, but what, what about you? Did you ever mention boss talk, nigga? <laughs> I didn't. I okay, so I then didn't. it's your fault. You could have. You be like, man, eat them cool. You ain't, you ain't said that one time. Bro, what? <laughs> <laughs> but you come over and you interview like, what's up, E? What up, baby? Hey, I'm Trap. A- we need you to come to Boss Talk. I clip this. This you want to clip so bad. Trap Boy Freddy. Boss Talk 101. <laughs> they need you over here. You know what I'm saying? They want to talk to you. I think he told, uh, he told, uh, 
Money Moses. Money Moses, my other co-host, uh -huh. he, they met up. You know, Money Moses in the streets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He told him, yeah, man, I'm going to come. I want to come do it. But yeah. we just, I hadn't linked with him. And then I don't know Trap Boy Fred. Never met him a day in my life. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Never been in a room with him a day in my life. Really? I've been in a room with yeah. Yellow. That's crazy. I've never been around that dude. I don't know him. Never met him one time. I'm being real. That's crazy. And you everybody that come on Boss Talk 101, they say we got it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I just want him to get a little bit of it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? <laughs> so let me ask you a question. Are you a co-host on that show? Yeah, I'm a co-host on there, yeah. Oh, okay, so that's something new because how many episodes have you done that you've uh, been Just three. Just three? Three. Yeah. I, I seen, three yeah, so you, I seen Trap Boy Fred. That's the only one I needed to see. Mm -hmm. And I seen you sitting there. I said, this bastard. Now he over there with Trap Boy. But let me ask you this, uh, it, just on the lighter note, I mean, y'all, Trap Boy is, uh, uh, that was a big, you know, for him to be in that situation because of all the back and forths and all the stuff the city be doing. So it was good to see him in that element, to be mm -hmm. honest with you, because we all about bringing people together. Right. So I was big kudos to you for even being a part of something where it looked like something is the temperature's changing a little bit. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't really trip off. Uh, I don't want to see nobody do nobody nothing. You know what I'm right. saying? I've never been that type of dude. You know, I come in this game trying to make people do the right thing or trying to insinuate that people would do the right thing. Right. These niggas is grown. They, yeah, they're going to do what they want to do. They're going to do what they want to do anyway. But at any rate, man, you do, you the co-host of Game Related. Okay, that's you, Charleston White, and Dewberry. Mm hmm Okay, Charleston White is in a plot right now where he went at, put a bag to, so for somebody to hurt oh, Deion man. Sanders' son. Okay, <laughs> are you in cahoots with that? Nah, hell no. Nah. Wait a minute. The, the, <laughs> the, you, the, I, views, the, the views and um, the views of Charleston White does not reflect upon <laughs> no, I'm just saying, that's feel. a big big hill to climb. So yeah. I'm just saying, you know, I think they just took they took Charleston Channel down, the YouTube channel, the other one is what mm -hmm. I heard. Do you fear that they could take this channel down? You in a whole podcast with it? I mean, that's always a possibility. YouTube is crazy. They that's can do whatever. They can do whatever the hell they want to do. Wow. That's the least of my worries. I'm trying to get monetized on my shit. I ain't shit. I ain't fucking with well, YouTube. Wait a minute. So you you basically what but at the end of the day, you are a you are a brand in yourself. Mm -hmm. Like you could go to anybody and do anything and it's gonna make a, some noise because you worked your butt off, man. Yeah. Um what how how big was that decision to go over there and even work with those guys? Um, it was really a no brainer. Uh, I, w I really just went over there to set up the podcast. I really wasn't even supposed to be on it. I really just went over there to set it up. And then when Charleston walked in, he was like, nah, we need you on the show. We want you on the show. Shit, yeah, what I'm gonna say, no. Hey, you just yeah, trying to get yeah. some exposure on yeah, that. Yeah, 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 I'm on the show. Fuck okay. it. But, but then at the end of the day, just the, the whole thing is, man, I just know that how media is. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Right now, that's a big that's a big cloud right there. The 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 whole the whole Dion Sanders. You know what I'm saying? The, yeah. the whole with the wife. What's her name? Pilar. Pilar even jumping up talking. Everybody talking. Yeah. The internet is different, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like Absolutely. at the end I would of the love day, to catch some of that. Give me give me some of that flag. I won't catch some flag too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's all about flat well, you good. can get it. So you are you saying you are uh, with Charleston? No, nah, not in that situation. <laughs> I can't agree with. I can't agree with that. I mean, it's his views is his views, but I love Dion and everything he's doing right now. Yeah, Cause, cause cause that's a that's a that's a that's a per that's really something because you got to think about Yellow. Yellow, your boy, he be with Dion. Mm -hmm. Yellow be uh, hanging out with Dion. A lot of the different people they in crowd be with Dion. Yeah. So that would really put a wedge between y'all if. Right. They felt the way about that. Right. But what you about to say? No, but a lot of times, you know, you said his views do, does not reflect on you, but a lot of times when you're um, on a show or people see you with that person, because that's the only time they see you with him mm -hmm. is on the show, mm -hmm. like, you know, nationwide, they're going to feel like that you're a part of that. Uh, it depends on what I say on the show. If he says something about Dion on the show, you're going to see me sitting there being quiet. You know what you're saying? quiet you're all the time anyway. I'm quiet all the time. Man, you know how hard it is to talk next to Charleston White once he make his point. Yeah, what do you go? What do you say? Y'all hadn't brought up the Dion thing on there, have you? Uh, yeah, on the last. Episode and you was on there. Yeah. And you were quiet. I was quiet as a motherfucker. <laughs> Damn. 
Well, hey, I, that's, I, that's I a part of podcasting, about that. man. Yeah, I ain't got nothing to say about that. So, I, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> but if you don't agree with him, why won't you say, well, you're wrong? Because once he makes his point, it's like, you know, I kind of feel you, but... You know what I'm saying? I really, it ain't that I don't agree with them. I just don't really care about that topic like that to, you know what I'm saying? Engage. Engage like that. If yeah. He, if once he gives his point and gives his view on it, and, you know, Charleston, he's going to break it all the way down of why he feel like this, and, you know what I'm saying? So. Do you want to see the son win? Hell yeah. Game? You like him? Yeah. You want to see Dion win? Yeah. You know how much culture Dion brought to Dallas dealing with all those little league kids over there? Yeah. You know already that the boy brought us some rings over here too for the for, for the Cowboys. Dion, they got he got rings. Meaning for yeah, Super Bowl ring, that was for your time. Yeah, that was about to say that was, when was the last time <laughs> the Cowboys like 90, won. 96. <laughs> yeah, 96, 97. I that was I was like I was born. I wasn't. You was young. Yeah, I was two years old. But no, nah, that's interesting. <laughs> just good to see you. Like I said, you working, and and I respect your work ethic. Like I said, you always welcome on Boss Talk One Hundred One, where the bosses talk, as my boy Run and say that. Even if boy. I ain't welcome, I'm coming. Well, <laughs> damn. <laughs> Be welcome. Be I'm on the, the way. Here. So let's let's get into it, man. Like you see all the stuff that uh transpiring out here, man. A lot of things. BG home. Mm-hmm. BG that made it to the house. Everybody see him. You know what I'm saying? He, he, yeah, why? You know what yeah. I'm talking about? Everything. Why? You ain't locked in your BG uh, boss. I'm working there. on it, man. <laughs> you know, I deal with I New Orleans a lot. Oh, yeah. I, I, I deal say, with I New Orleans a lot. It. I talk to Birdman. I deal with G to them. I am one of those. New, it's the South for me, bro. Yeah. Y'all ain't figured that out yet? Yeah, absolutely. I say it every day. I'm show. <laughs> I'm just trying to be here for our people to have some. Not saying I don't deal with other people because you know my boy Faison in San Diego. Uh -huh. Well, he not. He ain't he from San Diego or you might see me with anybody Larry Hoover Jr. from Chicago I rock with these people but still my main thing is to get people to recognize the South mm -hmm. for the artistry people like you yeah. who really kept working and working and I don't think it the really the just the the the, the true just that you deserve mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying absolutely because if you was somewhere on in the East Coast Oh, been, half pint films would be a oh whole nother level. I say that all the time. No, I know. If that. I was anywhere but Dallas, if you was if doing you, what I did, no, you been Houston is still gonna be like uh, Houston. Still would have been a little better. It would have a little Dallas. better. But if you was in, <laughs> if you was in New York and, or California and work like you have worked, oh yeah, I've been huge, crazy. I've been, huge. I've been huge. And that's why I brought. That's why I do what I do, and I know you understand that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm Absolutely. trying to figure it out, bro. Absolutely. Um, so we all trying to figure it out. I know. I know. <laughs> that's the whole game, man. So what's the uh, what what is what is the thing that you who would you like to see come on uh, behind the bar if you had any pick to pick anybody you wanted to? Anybody I want to? Yeah, Drake. Damn right. And he's saying that he got a place in Houston now. He's being Houston a lot. I need Drake. I need you going place. to Houston, right? I'm going to Houston this weekend. So you if Drake? Anybody know Drake? Drake? I'm gonna put this clip out, nigga. I'm <laughs> yeah, put the you clip. It. Put the clip out. Say, nigga, you wrong, man. If you don't go half paint, that's your boy. Yes, he sir. love you. He love what <laughs> you're doing, man. This nigga ain't no really. He, he really special in his own element. Now let's get behind that boy. It'll be cold, boy. That's, oh, that'd be crazy. That go crazy. You don't have to worry about nigga. Ain't no bed tell me shit. I I, drink I'm definitely house. calling you back for that interview because <laughs> I spoke it up on Boss Talk. I'll be like, nigga, yeah, I'm the one saying I'm that. I'm coming straight here. <laughs> Boss Talk 101, man. Mm -hmm. So. I, I want to know, like, like Big X the plug. I talked about him briefly earlier. Like, when I when I first talked to Big X, man, I ain't gonna lie, he said that boo, that nigga had that deep voice. I knew the nigga was special, bro. Mm -hmm. I knew this nigga was special from the day we loved Big X the plug. Yeah, same. me and my wife, we loved Big X the plug. Big X sat there. What up, Money Moses? What's up, man? Hey, Big X sat there, right? And Big X was like. Man, just telling us everything, but the main thing he made emphasis is, is that half paint films, half paint, really gave me start. Mm -hmm. Really, re you know, really showed him his love. Mm -hmm. Okay, he signed. He's moving in his element now. Mm -hmm. When is the last time you and this guy spoke? Um, like two, three days ago. Two or three days ago. Like, okay, so. What is the what is the thing? Where is he at right now? You know, compared to where he was then. Um, I really. What do you mean? As far as far what? as far as the way his artistry going, as far as the way he's developing and, and you know doing his thing. I can't tell you. I'm out the loop. I ain't in the loop. Why are you not in the loop when you were so embedded in the loop? When Ask this thing? him. No, 
here we go. Don't do that shit today, bro. Ask no, him. no, I'm, I, you do that every time. Every time somebody that that's what I'm saying, though, way, bro. Why am I not in the loop? Bro. Ask him. So you want to be? You want to be in the loop? You want to be in the loop? He just leaves you out of the loop. Okay, no, 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 no. Why crowd big ass ain't came behind the bars yet? Have you invited him? Millions of times. And, and you know, his manager is a little bit different than the first manager. <laughs> he still got the same manager. No, nah, was his cousin was the manager early on. I oh, promise y'all, you. No, I I'm remember about, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And, and, and now he got this manager. Is this manager conveying the information to you? You talk to him personally. I talk to him. I about to say, I don't have to talk to him. I talk to both of them, though, but it just. Maybe man, he just how many times have you asked Big X to come <laughs> on doing behind everybody the bar? Else shit. <laughs> uh, again, bootleg Kev. Uh, 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 no jumper you know what I'm and uh, 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 off the porch. It is that just what entertainers and, and, and do no. when they get big? No, it shouldn't just, be. I think it it's should because, be, but no. what do you see a lot of them do? No, these are That's white guys. That's the these are white guys. That's the problem. What you talking about? Big X the plug has been on all of the platforms. Have you been on Vlad yet? He ain't been to no, Vlad yet. But bootleg Kev. He's saying all the platforms he's all been on is all. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like, like, I think when niggas get something going, they don't want to deal with black people, bro. Man, it can't be. Did that. you hear what I, I just said? What the fuck Did you hear what I just said? But you don't think that's what it is. It can't be. It gotta be. It can't be. Bro, I do this, man. So it if it be. can be that, what do you think he it is? He did fucking uh from the block, AZ shit. Why he can't do my shit? Mm. Damn. I'm right here in the city. Pull up. It take 20 minutes. Rap your fucking song and go home. Why is that so hard? Why I probably did, never get it now once this come out. But I know, but why? But why <laughs> I'm tired of asking niggas. Bro, I get it. I, I definitely get it because you've done this so many times and seen this so move. Why do you think they distance themselves from you? I don't know. I'm starting to think I'm a fuck nigga or something. <laughs> I gotta be. I gotta be a you fuck nigga. Like every I ain't time. Nothing to nobody, I, was to, I was just about to ask you, what you, have you done? I have done nothing. To nobody but Rub the somebody real nigga. wrong way. No. He's a nice guy. Nice guy. I'm the nice guy. Nice guys. Nice yeah. guys finish last. And Maybe if you cut start them being out. An yeah. asshole. You need to Come start. the fuck to my <laughs> ball, man. What the fuck you doing? <laughs> what the fuck? Why do you think this man won't it come ain't to that fucking the hard. Because I'm gonna be real, it's a dope set. Or or okay. Well, we already know he can perform live. So he can perform. So it ain't that. It ain't that. It ain't there's no excuse. There's no excuse. Maybe he could have been there. He should have been the you know, first person to do it. You know how it is. Label, oh, he gonna be there. Label game it ain't. It, it ain't important. He ain't, he gonna be there. I if, can go see if him. If he wanted him. to do it, he could. He 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 could have did it five times mm. by now. Mm. Did you do something to him? Did you say something wrong? No. Did you he deal with no. somebody he don't deal with? No. Did you? You gotta start looking at all those different things. I've done nothing but be a real nigga this entire time. Because when 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 you was doing those reviews and, and and let's talk about that for a second. When you did those reviews and the first time you picked him on a review was that how you met him? That was how you mm -hmm. met him. You picked him on a review and you show mad love to him. You even offered to help. Whether it was managing, whether it was trying to figure out ways to get him signed, you was trying to be there for it, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. He told me that. That's why I know because yeah. he he told me you was like, and even you, you tried to sign him. Mm -hmm. well, I ain't go, no, I no, I, I didn't. You didn't try to sign. I him? I never tried to. Mm -mm. I just, could have once him, like you said, once his cousin stopped being his manager, it was up in the air. He even put a post out there like, "Damn, I need a manager." I remember At that, that, that post. moment. I could have took it would have been nothing but a word, but I didn't because. Why? Because I'm already just because you just thought you I were know busy. how motherfuckers do. <laughs> Wait a minute, explain it. No, 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 I understand that, but what I'm saying is that you already was in the loop of being that. Right. So why wouldn't you take that step in? Because that would have made you more really involved. That, was, that that happened because I was just scarred just from all the other situations. Other, I'm yeah, like, you, you still do. I really want to go down that road again. And I'm I'm kind of glad I didn't because I found myself within. You know what I'm saying? If I would have been big extra plug manager right now, I would have just been big extra plug manager. I wouldn't be doing behind the bars or That's true. short films and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So I had to you find to myself in this shit before Dude. motherfuckers keep. Put me on the back burner. And you didn't you didn't turn him down as being a manager. No, nah, he never asked. He me. never asked you, but you knew the opportunity was open to yeah. do it. Um 
Man, I, I sure want to see him do it behind the bar, straight up for for you really for the D man. Like he he does work with certain people. And hell, ask Trap Boy to ask him. They talk because he just did a video I with him. Have to do that though. Oh yeah, you shouldn't because you I already link with him. You you already know him backwards and forwards. I shouldn't have to do that. No, I it agree. Should, it should be a simple ask, and it should be. Well, it should, so, but let happen. me ask you a question. You, so you have it? asked him. You said you you spoke you speak to him directly, and you speak to the manager directly. You have asked him directly to come on your show. Yeah. And what is his response when you ask him directly? Uh, if it's a text, he just won't respond to it. If it's if you're on the phone and if say if you're on the phone, I'm gonna do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just never do it. So when you say, yeah, 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 I'm going to do it. Okay, what date you coming? Show this Type shit. To- and that's where the conversation stops. The Vernell Hill show. <laughs> that's where the conversation stops. <laughs> well, Vernell Hill was telling, on Martin, he was telling them that uh, he that's just Hollywood yeah, yeah, talk. Yeah, it's just Hollywood talk. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're going to get you on the show. <laughs> shit. That's why I'm going to pull up to his next show with the bar. Come on, nigga, rap. Man, and I, th- I hope it can happen, man. Like I said, he wanted that you definitely, you, you deserve. Mm-hmm. You deserve to have him on behind the bar. Real talk. Because of all the work you put in, just just dealing with him up front and having that connection with him, man. I think it would be so dope to do that. Um, but not only that, um, especially because you starting here in Dallas, you know, you, you want to get the people here who are, you know, people. Right. But then I know that you are traveling with behind the bar as well, right? Mm-hmm. So um, what are all the different cities you plan to go to? Uh, I'm trying to go to every 50 state. I'm trying to go to all 50 states and then further than that. But... Um, because once yeah. you start doing that and you get other artists and other people in other cities, that's when all these other people from here are going to be. That's the problem. Why does it have to be like that? But it's reality. It's been going on for decades. They that's do it bullshit. to everybody. Why you think that it's going to change right now when we see it all the time? We experience it. You experience it. Why that's you think bullshit. it's going to change? I don't. I don't think it's going to change. It ain't I feel like change. that's bullshit. It mm. shouldn't. It shouldn't be that hard. It's not a hard task. It ain't like I'm asking a nigga for a feature and, and some shit like that. It's come rap the song you already made. Wow. Well, it's not that hard. Well, let me ask you this, and, and this may, you know, throw a monkey wrench in everything, but it may make things uh, doper as well. Um, would you ever consider bringing a comedian on behind the bar? To, to, to just, tell jokes? To, just, to, tell to jokes. talk and uh, think about it. Mm. If they were hot. It is gonna bring buzz to the show, and you could do that. That would be a whole nother level. How much level. time? How much time does a person have? It's not a certain time. It, they just keep. But going. you understand what I'm saying, don't you? Yeah, I understand. Because they're they telling jokes, they have yeah. fans. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. And they already do it on stage for they, they how many ten minutes? Get boom, and that hoe will go. Bro, don't take my idea. Don't pay me. You just, you did but that to Mama Scott. Damn, me nigga. <laughs> you love taking niggas' ideas. <laughs> 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 right there, I'm there. just kidding But it is something To think but, about but I got a question But whenever um, People come to perform How many people Do you have actually Do you actually have An audience No Whenever So there's it's no private. audience It's private Yeah because when I'm thinking about um, comedians, you need somebody actually laughing laugh, yeah. and whatever, so it comes across, you know, in a certain way if it's live. Yeah, but you yeah. can bring some pe- few people out. You don't have to have a whole bunch of crowd. You can make it look big when it ain't even that. I mean, he know the game. Yeah, and they don't even have to be on camera. They're just no. people just hearing. You even can make make that noises laughing. like that. You do you think Sam? Them folks didn't have no damn live studio audience and some of that stuff. Sam's song was taped in front of a live studio. <laughs> <laughs> But some of the laugh track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> no, and, and it would be it's just the dope element. It could be something totally separate, but it's still dope because what you're doing has so many elements and different things that uh is just culturistically surrounding what you're doing. You know what I mean? This is where he's talking about like you have a um a a name for like uh, over the umbrella, which is a half buying film, so yeah, and the branch off in okay, this is the you one for whatever. the artist, this one for the comedian, this whatever. is for such and such, right? But, but that's still, what I'm saying. I, that's what I've been doing. It's still because I got. Would you laugh at this? That's come you know on, you sure do. Yeah, so that the, damn, I already, damn show I already got, got something for the comedians. Too. Oh, that's I have, a, I, I have something to pick with you. I Go just ahead, thought about it. Mess with the nigga. You yeah. <laughs> As you nigga. said that, would you look at this? I love your sweatshirts, right? You wearing your brand right now? Why you go to LA and then wear your brand? Oh, man. I, on the show? I'm glad you brought that up, nigga. On I was the gonna show? forget that. Why? Oh, you was on why no would you not, Why would oh. you not represent oh, you your own brand? No I'm represent. I went up there with Payola on. I go I saw everywhere that. with Payola on. That's my partner. I represent. I rep his brand way harder that? than mine. That was, that's why? My boy. That's your brand. Because because this is this is just 
I really don't even sell this merch. He really does this shit with the clothes. Why not? You know what I'm saying? Okay. Put him in position. He really do this shit. I don't do this shit. This just, you know what I'm saying? Bro, I'm just going to be honest. When I seen you up there, bro, I don't know what you had on, but the way you were acting, you know what I'm saying? For no jumper. You went over there. Yeah, you How was I like, acting? <laughs> got your little hat on and shit with your little white glass. <laughs> I'm thinking to myself, this nigga ain't never had such a good time at Boss Talk you like just, that. You just mad. <laughs> I'm over there so snickering, don't you snickering in the white man face. <laughs> <laughs> so he oh, over there laughing I with said, that white boy. What the hell boy. going on here? <laughs> I'm just looking at my thing. I didn't know he was going to be on. I said, why is he doing over there? Why is he up there in L.A.? <laughs> the nigga is way up in L.A. How did you end up even getting on that show? Let's talk about that. Um, Everybody from Texas that go up there, name drop me. Because they have to. So the last straw was when Tony went up there. Mm -hmm. And he was like, he did it for real. He like, if you want to get hot in Texas... Half Pint is the guy that you need to know. So after that, Adam was like, I got to have you up here. I, come talk to me. Wow. Did he call you personally or did he some, DM me? He yeah. DM you and said, you got to come up to the, you got to come on the show. Yeah. When would I you mean, I, had, I DM'd him. I've been trying to get a no jumper interview so for you years. But, but see, that's what I'm saying. Y'all niggas would jump out the window. Nigga, I jump out the window for you. <laughs> Damn, y'all got to make hard. Oh, nigga, all you got to do is 100 DMs of you trying to get on this show. <laughs> then finally, you look, oh, well, let me let the nigga on there now. And you jump up and get on the plane you and fly up right. there. You even fight back <laughs> to say, man, right. hold on. Man, I, I got to check my schedule. Uh-uh. You know I'll, be <laughs> I'll be there this weekend. <laughs> That's what you said. <laughs> I'll be there this weekend. So did you enjoy it though? Was it what you thought it was gonna be? Yeah, it was. It was cool. They got a nice little facility up there. Um, conversation was good. It was a cool interview. Wow, it ain't come out yet, has no, it? No, it ain't out yet. Yeah, well, they ain't like us. We'll have this out tomorrow. <laughs> And we actually don't come out tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Say, no. No, like, like, how many people, when they seen you up there dealing with no jumper, uh, was like, man, damn, they congratulated you. A lot of people? Shh, everybody. Yeah, everybody. that post, I read all them comments. Man, it's like that post all went the crazy. Is, it's like all of that has responded. I yeah, love They love it. you, bro. Yeah. How does it feel to get that kind of love in the city where you, you put all this work in? And, you know, Dallas-Fort Worth has been your whole... You you know you started everything that you did right here, yeah. developed it. People seen it. People love you. Mm -hmm. How do you how do you feel about all that? I mean, shit. That's what I do it for, for real. I, everything I do be for the city. I hardly ever do shit for me. I'm always helping another motherfucker out. So damn near everything I do be for the city. So when the love is showed back from the people, you know what I'm saying, it feel good. Who's the newest artist out right now that are, are just, just doing their thing that you feel like they um, up next? Zillionaire Doe. Zillionaire Doe. Shout out, nigga. You might be on Balls Talk just because of that. Zillionaire Doe. Is I'm he doing his thing? I'm going to keep on saying it. He tough. Zillionaire Doe, okay. He the one. What really? makes him stand out different? Man, I, I I can't even tell you. what. But once you see him, you'll be like, okay, I get it. Where is he, he from? He from South Dallas. Okay. He's from South Dallas. He's young. He he just turned 22. He got the sack. He got the look. He got the raps. Is he serious about he music? Tough. He's getting serious about music. <laughs> he's getting That'd serious. That'd be the only thing when a nigga be so nah, close he, to he, the streets. He, a nigga be like, I don't know about this music. Shout out to Money Moses who always <laughs> jump in the game and jump out. Um, <laughs> that's why I always think people trying to do the flea flicker on, on this music stuff because yeah. he done really hurt me by coming in the game, getting out the game, coming in the game, you know. So, yeah, like, like so is he really like, you say he got, he about to get focused. Nah, he, I, think, I, think he, I think he locked in on the rap. I think he locked in on that. Is that a person that you're going to sign? I want to. What makes him so different? To. You're not going to hesitate on this. You're going to take a chance. No, I want to. I want to for sure. I feel like he. I feel like he going to do something. What, give him a... So you him. offered? No, just give him what, one. What, to sign him? Yeah. Uh, not No, not really. I guess I have now. Yeah, yeah give him a consent <laughs> form. He can take it with him. Oh. <laughs> Get something on paper, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Eat the black and white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just take yeah, nah, yeah. Well, anything. Let the nigga write on anything. It'll work. <laughs> oh, shit. Get, a, get something signed. Just get the signature. You got to get the signature, yeah. man. We, we've been through a lot, man. Like, so I had I had thought I'd seen you hooking back up with Erica Banks for a second. Um, I mean, she'd be around a little more. Like, I, she had video shoots out here and stuff that I went to and still like Oh, that. you didn't do none of them? No, no, nah, nah, I didn't. Okay. Nah. That was 6K Hefe shot that, but... uh. 
I, that's she all be right. around a little bit. Okay, okay. I think that that's dope too. Um, mm-hmm. What else you got for my boy? Had paint films. Let's talk. I mean, I really, to be honest with you, I, I just wanted to ask you about the no jumper stuff, really. But mm-hmm. then all this other stuff just came out. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Nigga got all. I got a lot built up inside of me. Yeah, nigga, you know what I'm saying to make sure that the interview is going to be a conversation, man. It's mm-hmm. always a delight anytime you come on Boss Talk 101, man, mm-hmm. and and do your thing, man. Um, you got any more cameras you I trying to sell? I got a question. <laughs> you no, really? I, got, I got a question. Cause you see, you've been um, watching the blogs. You've been watching internet, social media, and stuff like that. I know recently you had Kevin Gates perform. Oh, and hey, yo. that young lady, he pulled up on stage. Hey, he did a second one now. He had a bigger oh, girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. did a oh, second one. I, didn't he see that I think he's doing that on every that tour date. struck again. <laughs> okay, but did he do the same thing? Yeah. yeah. This one here, he went, he drunk some and poured. That's what I said. It was a little bit more. He spit it in her throat. It's a big. She's a huge, kind of a bigger girl. Why do you think women are um, fascinated? Yes, and allowing is wanting to do something like that. Because he's a superstar. You'll be surprised what a motherfucker will let a superstar do to him. This is this is their fantasies, and this is the type of shit that Kevin Gates talk about in his music. So, of course, there's always going to be a fan in that crowd that want Kevin Gates to spit in their mouth. It's mm. gonna happen. Has he always? Because I only the first time I saw that is with the the girl, the pregnant girl, because she was pregnant, right? Was she on the first? Yeah, one the black was, one. Yeah, the, she was in the black outfit. Oh, I know she, she was, was pregnant. pregnant. She had a little bump. That's crazy. I feel and, sorry for her baby dad. That's the part. <laughs> <laughs> that's Lord. the part that I was thinking. Like, if that was your girlfriend, and Never. or your, what would you say to her when she came home? She wouldn't come home, <laughs> and if she did, I wouldn't be there. No way. No way. But it's the same thing like it's no the same way. thing like Kiki Palmer with her baby daddy when she went to the Usher concert. Usher didn't spit in Kiki Palmer's she mouth. Didn't. <laughs> he didn't. He didn't. But the baby daddy was mad about it because of what she had on and all of that sort of yeah, stuff. That was um I guess that's just a, a product of his insecurity, but if she if she would have let Usher spit in her mouth, it would have been a whole different conversation. Mm. It was just nothing to talk about after that. Yeah, he wrong. So he, was that the first time he did something like that? That was, I believe so. That probably was the, the second first. time. You talking about the? No, the first first time was did. that young lady. Yeah, you know? I, I think so. Because for that, yeah, it was a little different. One yeah. time, woman groped him. He kicked her in the face. <laughs> but now <laughs> he's doing this. But he getting content because that was, years, that was come ten on. years ago. Well, I mean, but still, like, when you think of what he does on the stage. She yeah. tried to grope him or whatever the case may be. Yeah, Something nah, like he's, that. he's yeah. changed. He got a little more uh, Bolder. comfortable, more uh, intimate with his fans. Like I hadn't that. watched him before. Kevin but, Gates used to not even let people touch him. Right. Really? Hell yeah. He changed. But he, in this way, but to me, in this way, he's more in control. Mm-hmm. Comparing to somebody that's grabbing on you, you're not right, in right, control right. of that. Right. So in this way, he's, uh, he's saying, okay, you sit right here. Mm-hmm. And... The, and it's consensual. And it's consensual because the person come up here, they're, they're allowing that. It's not like he's dragging them on stage. Right. right. But in some form or fashion, to me, since he's getting so much um, publicity, even more publicity with this, mm-hmm. do you think that this is going to make other people jump up and be like, oh, I need to outdo him? Oh, yeah. Somebody going to try. Somebody going to do it. And they're going to try to do it. Somebody going to shit on somebody on stage. What do you think uh, about... Damn. What, what you think about Sexy Red and all the stuff that she been posting? Love Sexy Red. Really? And everything that she, she posts. Toes? She she's real. She's just authentic. She just remind me of one of my cousins or some shit that just was in the hood and just fucked around and made it. And she I don't know. I, I love Sexy Red. Really? I love it. Cause she ain't never gonna change. That's yeah. just who she I is. I hope she don't never change. Toes sucking she sexy red. Wild. <laughs> she does that. Part of the problem. There is no problem. There come, are. Come up. You want to come up and get a word in? Yes, because my Moses, he have a whole yeah, lot of on that. There are plenty glad, of sexy reds. Now, I'm glad that. I'm glad, man. Now this is a hell of a conversation. You know this guy. He he's here I don't all know the time. This nigga. Bring the bring, bring the, the chair, chair and, and let's try to figure out if he, why you, you because he he <laughs> don't he don't like uh, a sex red like that. Oh, and he a no, man. No, I'm gonna tell you why. Hold on. I'm cool with sex and red. I just don't like the people that are pushing that dumb ass shit she doing. But you like the gangsters. Yeah. I, no, 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 no. I like, listen, if sex and red was going in the studio and said, hey, bro, I'm going to go ahead and do this myself and then put out myself. Now, white folks behind her, behind with the shit. They help her push so, the dumb ass shit. So, sexy it. red can't do what she do, but the murder and killing music, Uh-oh. niggas can do that. Uh-oh. No, they That's can't. way worse. They can't. You like it? 
Who said I like it? Okay, <laughs> uh, we got my my guy. So Mother you Moses. don't listen to trap <laughs> music bro, or that thugging music and all that stuff? No, I listen to watch. Let me see Apple Music. I don't got no Apple Music. Oh, yeah. That's YouTube. That's YouTube. Exactly. Oh, yeah, he definitely don't listen to nothing. Yeah, like, yeah. NBA Young Boy. No, I don't. I don't. I don't <laughs> you on YouTube? Who, who do you listen to? I'm going to show you, Zach. I'm going to show you what my history say. What do my history say, bro? NBA Young Boy. You know, all Kodak all Black. I'm all instrumental. I'm all instrumental. <laughs> you see? You, you think you're a rapper, so you, you on that rap yeah. No, I don't, I, I don't want to hear that bullshit. I just really hear the beat. That's it. I don't want to hear dumb ass shit, bro. Okay, well let's let, let's shit. be real. You sex red is just being herself authentic, like this man said. She suck toes. She do porno tapes on on Instagram. <laughs> she uh, that was on booty hole, She didn't do that on purpose. Hole, uh, is not the color they thought it was. <laughs> so. A booty hole is different color than she said. A booty hole wasn't showed, but it was. <laughs> How many times you know, videos uh, leak and they say it's accident, but it's really not. It, it, it could be. So ain't no such thing. What, and that's why you upset because she say a booty hole. Nah. <laughs> I don't care. Listen, I don't care what sexy sex girl doing crazy. herself. She got people actually promoting her doing the bullshit she doing. Yeah, it, it, it ain't really sexy red. It's the people behind her that I'm really fucked up about. So what's the difference between what sexy red do and what B King do? Damn, I don't like that either. Oh, oh, oh. Me. So you don't you don't rock with that? I don't know. Do you go to the club? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. No more. Yeah, when I go in club, you sleepy as shit. I ain't ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> I, ain't gonna lie. I, swear to God, I go to the chorus no, and bro. Too, like, too. Robin, I'm sleepy as shit. I'm just like, like bro. bro. Now. All right, I got to ask you about uh, uh, Keefy D. He got arrested for Tupac's murder. Finally. Uh, uh, wait a minute. What wait a minute. Finally. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He wait a minute. Like he really did wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yes. Wait a minute. Uh, Why? Vlad had this interview with Keefy D. He calls himself now. Shout out to Vlad, the investigative journalist. Mm -hmm. This is the only one he says, literally, on the Breakfast Club earlier this morning. I was watching it. He it. said that uh, he he per he got this one. His his film is going to be used in the court of law. Mm -hmm. This is what he you know he he said. This is the only one mm -hmm. that uh, he he happened to you know be a part of. Yeah. Um, Still don't that he helped the police with. Yeah, yeah. He, he didn't, didn't help. You know, he didn't help them with this. Man. If they believe shit, they're dumb as hell. That man made a fence years ago. That's what I'm saying. But it was hey, on Vlad. Already. It was on Vlad. No, no he had a book no. before that. Yeah, he had a book. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The book. That's they why made Vlad, no yeah. But that's what I'm saying. When when he dropped that KVD Vlad interview years ago, I watched that and was like, okay. Like, you could tell he's not lying. He's telling you what the fuck happened. He probably know he finna die soon or something. He like, somebody got to know this story. And he letting, he letting motherfuckers know okay, I didn't this watch is how Tupac it. got killed. But did he, so he, did he say he pulled the trigger? No, no. it's cause his nephew. Baby Lane, everybody, but we've been knowing Okay, that. so if somebody else pulled the trigger, why is he getting arrested? Because he was in the, the car. car. He car. don't want to lie. Yeah, but my boy, shout out to uh, Ayatollah Marv came on here and he shut that whole story he down. Sure he did. said, and I kind of have to take what he say in agreement or something. Sure too, because I'm, I'm telling, telling you, you right now, I'm with you. on Flamingo that. in Las Vegas Boulevard on fight night, nigga. You could not move. Yeah. You could These not move, These cars just moving like that and nobody seeing it is crazy to me, first of all. And Orlando standing in the casino being a active gang member who has all allegedly took somebody's chain standing by itself in the casino waiting on Suge Knight and, and Tupac to come through? Man, gangsters don't give a fuck. They'll do it. No, but I'm telling you, yeah. gangsters gonna be in a gang, people. nigga. Yeah, and they'll be a group of them. Not Listen. in Vegas. Oh, I mean, yes. Thank you. I, oh, thank you, you bull crap. Yeah, they was bull crap. Deep. Them motherfuckers was fall no, deep in Vegas. Yeah, but when you never I, seen them on camera, though. You never seen them on camera. You never seen them on camera. When, when no. I go to Vegas and you you can do you see people that walk this by themselves? No, they would the be a click of, every yeah. damn time unless I'm tripping. They they caught him by himself. That don't make sense to me. And kicked him in the head. He was waiting. And he came back. He was waiting. He was waiting it was a setup, is what it was a setup. He was waiting patient to get that ass whooping. And I'm gonna tell you, listen, I'm gonna tell you from a criminal side. When you doing, <laughs> when you, I'm gonna tell you real shit, bro. When you doing a hit like that, See what I deal how, with. how in the hell can that white Cadillac just easily cruise up behind you and shoot you and keep going when it's crowded already? They was at you, the light. No, bro. You had no. It's they not was that. at the light, bro. How he creep up there if it's I mean, if it's crowded, it's. I'm it was a, no, it's a three loud. lane street. No, no. The girls on the other side talking about, hey, Pac. They pull up on the other side. Hey, that's Pac. Bam. No. Fire his ass up. No, that ain't how it went. That's how it went. It was, it was, you, you was in the right area, but that ain't how it went. The girls was following them. The girls was following them in the car. They jumped at the car. I mean, they jumped at the line. 
How you know you was there? No, because he said everything. <laughs> oh, all the interviews, Keith D. All so you all believe him? No, I don't. I'm putting it together. <laughs> <laughs> this is how I know. This is how I know. This how I know that uh, it was it was uh, another car with them because they had to slow it had to slow the uh, the other cars down so they can't just ease on up because it wasn't no just. Well, you can just drive on up by the jock that I said it was, bro. You had to slide on up. If you want to be inch by inch, bro, tell it. In that damn story, how you going to get through? However, it happened. They had somebody it else. Happened. It had to be another car. It could have been. It had to be for them to slide like that easy, so, bro. bro. I don't think so. How did, that, how did that white car slide that easy through all them traffic, bro? Man, it was, car the other it was they down. turn next. They was let they me was just next say this, line. man. And I'm going to be frank hey, with y'all, man. It was Pac Tom. Do you, or, or let me ask y'all this. Do y'all. <laughs> Why? Why uh, people are asking now? Why have Snoop Dogg not said anything or, or text anything about this Keefe D uh, arrest? So, because I, I want everybody to get their opinion. I'm just saying. Do you feel like he? Because he don't, don't want to be involved. Because he don't want to be involved. He a gangster. He ain't gonna. What he gonna say? Y'all knew that nigga did it. Suge is Suge a gangster? Well, I heard Suge wasn't no gangster. Suge either. is locked up for the rest of his life. Well, he he nah, definitely man. been talking about it <laughs> on TMZ, nigga. Yeah, I mean, gangsta. hey, That's I was talking to his voice. Suge was in the car. Shit, I'll talk about it too. Nigga, Suge say he know who did. He don't want snitch though. Of course. But did he say it wasn't Keefe D? Then? Yep. He said, he said he said it wasn't Keefe D. Yeah, yeah, they always say that. No, he said it wasn't him. That's what a but, lot of people but he say. Said he's in the car, but he already said it wasn't him because I asked, did, was he the one who pulled the trigger? I said no, it wasn't him. He just was in the car. So they're um, charging him with what accessory after the fact? I don't know. I don't know what they charging him with, but he getting charged. He wasn't supposed to get charged period because that uh that that uh confession he did. Yeah. So but why he is he in talking jail? about it? It he don't could, matter. Why is he in jail though? That confession only good for one day. No, it ain't. For that, for yeah, that interview. Yeah, he watched. He watched. He watched yeah. breakfast. Club, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That nigga watched breakfast. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. This nigga was only now. good for he one only day. <laughs> <laughs> he, he heard Vlad. Yeah. Vlad be telling everything. This nigga wild man. Damn right. That damn Vlad TV man. <laughs> <laughs> he is your new investigative journalist. Yeah. <laughs> You gonna talk shit about me when I'm going Vlad? And come be smiling you going like on a Vlad? mother? No, not yet. But one day you going on Vlad too? I hope so, so. Hold on, so hold on. Have I you been in there? Hold on. Have you been in their DMs also saying that I need to come on there? Nah, I haven't actually. Well, you might have to get in them now. You hot now because you on there with uh, No Jumper and No Jumper and his wife and all the rest of them and all y'all uh, over there. No telling what y'all might do. Uh, I'm like, just saying hold on, hold it's on. a whole we'll different world like, over there. You know what I'm saying? Y'all do something. It's a different level when you start. Wife, bro. What? I want his wife. I already told you this. Hey, man, well, he don't man, talk to him. Hey, Shit, I'm talking to You keep I, talking. I, I, I don't, don't like want your wife, bro. Just what? one time. I'm not. Uh, well, I'm just saying. Well, I'm interested in white well, women. Well, so. he, you know, whatever y'all decide to do when you go up to no jumper, that's y'all business. Plus, he's married. <laughs> I just want a sperm on the face. What? What the? F I just want a sperm on the face. <laughs> this nigga is stupid. Bro, you know the the thing is, man. Uh, they just live by different codes. You know, don't go too far into it. <laughs> There's a lot going on over there with what what half paint and Adam Twenty Two and all them guys do up yeah, there. He already, <laughs> got, he already got his own film, but he got his own uh, uh, late night film. film. Late night film. Y'all don't, don't, don't know what I got. Oh, shit, I'm trying to get involved. Y'all don't know what. Oh yeah, yeah. Y'all don't trying, know what I'm trying got. to get into. Uh, so I guess y'all. I'm gonna my own porn site. Like, uh, I'm gonna get it. What the hell, man? Where's this show going again? <laughs> Bro, yeah, you talking talk. about me and what I said the other day? Yeah, you yours was getting Yeah, you and CC. That was wild. Wait, what? What? You gotta know. Bro, you go watch we it. We can't talk we about, about it. We ain't talking about well, that. Who, what interview was this? CC, my girl. Shout out to CC Reacts, man. One of them dope. She was talking to, about big. Hey, she been on. Hear. She been on No Jumper too. Y'all love running up to No Jumper. That, I don't know. Y'all leverage off of Boss Talk and then jump springboard over to No Jumper. Next thing y'all think y'all made it. It's called elevation. No, I made way. it as soon as I came on Boss Talk. I Star. already know that. I don't need you to say that, nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> what's next for you? Um, what I'm, everything I'm doing right now. So, by the time I, I put my head down, look up, are you going to start another, a new venture again? Or is. I might. <laughs> I might. If it, if it, but, if it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, if I, I got something in do. your heart. You know right. what I'm saying? Something in my heart. I got something we can do. Go it's ahead. somebody wild now. It's going to be Bob. It's going to be some No, it's somebody wild now with Brains of Dallas. I got a clear for it and everything. I've heard this all the time. No, I'm this. dead ass serious. I'm dead ass serious. <laughs> they I, get, I get the people, though. <laughs> I get the people. That's the problem. What you mean, though? What people? 
to uh, to actually join to uh, to come together to join the comes like a company, like a company club, like just like Wild and Out was. Really, you can bring it to Dallas and put your what own you twist to call it. it. I don't know yet. You try to put your own twist to it. Mm. But I know you got the uh, spot for it and everything. But how do you do it without it just being a carbon copy of Wild and Out? That's the part we gotta get the game. Because that's what I'm stuff. saying. I've had, I've had this idea too. Well, you you took up next and went another way. What did you figure out? <laughs> Hell, You'll figure it out. You know for doing that kind of stuff. You uh, get the fuck out of here. You with the right nigga. You with the right nigga. He gonna have him tell me. He take he take my. I'm being stanced on oranges. Yeah. Oh, I don't care about going to jail. That's a misdemeanor. Hey, listen, man. I got a question. I got oh, a last back question. At it. I'm gonna so, be shutting it down after this. I saw a post recently. I think I saw it on Big D the Mogul, mm. and he was saying now Shout out Big D the Mogul. Yes, sir. Um, rappers don't make good interviews. They don't. They said it's all about content creators and more. Mm -hmm. Why do you think that these rappers are not giving good interviews? Because most of these motherfuckers be too cool for themselves. <sighs> they be way too cool. I don't know. A lot of rappers, if a lot of these rappers, when you see them in the interview versus when you just talk to them personally, they be a, a completely different guy. Like a lot of these rappers are funny, are like real funny guys, and you would never know mm -hmm. from watching their content because they bottle it up and. But why are they tough. scared to put it out? Street image. shit, I guess. Image. I don't know. A image. Yeah. That's the big, so you're know. telling me a gangster can't be funny at the same time? That's what I'll be trying I'll to be say. I'll be honest with you. Uh, Pac could be laughing and doing film with you and shooting a nigga off due to polar yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, right, that's what I'm like. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Being funny don't make you no less gangster. No. Nah. So don't. So I, don't, I don't get that either. Shit, I, I, look at all the, shit, all the old gangster rappers are... Funny guys on the internet now. Look at Plies. Look at Boosie. Look at fucking Noriega. <laughs> yeah, all these niggas yeah. are funny. Yeah, they've probably you, been funny their whole career. Do you think Boosie is uh the the Boosie that we see today, uh the the Vlad TV Boosie uh the the Boosie that that ungrateful Boosie? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, the the Boosie that we see today versus the Boosie we seen back in the day. Mm -hmm. Um. Which one, the, the vibe of uh, 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 wipe me down Boosie mm -hmm. versus the new Boosie today? Because everybody growing and evolved. Like, yeah. what do you see that's, that, that's different about him? He showed more of his funny side, which I yeah. feel like Boosie was probably always funny, but he didn't just really show that side. He, he did. Was, was always on some gangster shit. You're right. Even, like, if you look at his, like, that documentary he put out before he went to jail and shit like that, like, he had some funny moments in there, but they ain't just like that wasn't what they was pushing. But do you? I think it come with growth and elevation. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I, I just I, you heard you on Breakfast Club when they said that he got a he bought enough land to make the streets his kid's name. That's all. That was the dopest thing I heard. Yeah. Shout out to Charlotte. That's man, hard. listen, man, Charlemagne the God. I'm a big fan, bro. I rock with that nigga. Mm -hmm. That nigga, I love Charlemagne. That nigga, they are the best journalists. Vlad was I in like trouble. Charlemagne when he was wilder though. No, I like both was. Charlemagne's. I like the one that's elevated and yeah. I like the other one. I like Why both of them. Why you like the wilder one? He, it was, it was, he was funny. Because he was funny. He was funny. I, 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 like, I like both of them. Yeah. People no, I still like Charlemagne. I like he, the he growth. He know how to do an interview, bro. This yeah. nigga, I don't know who the hell told him to get over there and start talking to people. He been doing, <laughs> doing it long a damn enough. good job, man. Yeah. Nah, damn good job. Sure. So, um, what? How, how can people get a hold of you? They try to reach out. Instagram. Instagram. Half DM, you, DM you. DM you. DM me. Do you respond to all your DMs? Hell yeah. no. Hell no. The, the ones that I want to respond to, <laughs> I see them all. If you DM me, I seen it. If I didn't respond, you wasn't talking about shit. You look yeah. in that other section too to see the I, messages? I look in the message all request, the, the, all that. Yep. Okay. And you on, you on threads and you on mm. tw Twitter. Yeah, Twitter. You, you don't like to. threads? They on Twitter now. My Twitter is a porn site. Oh, really? <laughs> You be up there with no jumper for uh, real. Time to go on Twitter. No, nah, because that nigga, because he ain't uh, no jumper. No he ain't since uh, now. Twitter, no Twitter is a porn site now. Yeah. I'm for sure. I'm going to get a count tomorrow. <laughs> I think I'm That's what I heard about it. Y'all gonna see me on that. So you like, love Twitter better than Threads. They, go Brittany Brittany Loso, so uh, see that? they all they all serve their purpose. You see that Brittany Brittany Loso Loso right there? Yeah, I am. She hear me talking about your ass. <laughs> you, you know, you know, you stole her idea. We don't want to put her <laughs> on, on your ass right now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, but I just want to say, man, thank you for always coming when I call, right? Mm -hmm. I was like, you always come I told you this is the out. last one too. I ain't coming no more. Really? The I traffic. told you I had to drive too far. The traffic. I ain't coming to my own. I'm, matter of fact, next time, book me in the middle of the night. I'll come get you. 
He will. Book me yeah, in the middle of the night. I ain't man, coming I said, until 10 p.m. Right, right. Well, ain't no, no, no traffic. Ain't, ain't, it don't take that long for traffic to go away. <laughs> By seven or eight, I, I got to make show. Seven or eight, you good. <laughs> 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 Thank you so much for coming on the show, man. We love you, half paint. Yes, no sir. matter how how big you get, don't do no, don't pull no. I ain't gonna say no names. I'm gonna do it. Don't pull no, you know, it's a lot of niggas. I can't wait move. to get up so I can start on these niggas. <laughs> <laughs> Take it, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. What a boss is talk. And we out. Yeah.